Welcome back, people. We got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. Back in Congo River in Africa. So today we are here catching the Cornish Jack. Now I will show you my rod setups, and of course where I am fishing and the location. The peak times for this, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know to catch yourself a unique Cornish Jack. Anytime I do live streams, I'll always use a face camera mic, but when I make videos, I randomly hit record like I have here, and this is how I get those good video clips. So, a little short video here, only 9 minutes 8 seconds, but I get the job done. So, I'm showing lots of different videos on how to catch certain fish in this place. Uh, showing you hot spots and completing all missions and all the good stuff that you guys need to know is on the channel. I've now got a playlist of Just Fishing Planet. You can always check that out if anyone is interested. When them updates come, I'll always be live streaming. Face camera mic, buying new DLCs, getting into new lakes and again finding all those new hot spots. Couldn't give you a better reason to subscribe other than that. Don't forget to drop a like if you are still enjoying Fishing Planet. Okay. There's all the promotion out the way, and that was uh, sounded like a lot. <laughs> but as well as it being promotion, I always mention it just because, obviously, if you're new around here, you might not know that we got a, a playlist of Just Fishing Planet with over 350 plus videos and counting. <laughs> anyway, 5 a.m. peak times. Always fish for peak, peak times when you're catching these because otherwise they can be a little bit difficult to catch. But... 5 a.m. up till 6 a.m. seems to work very, very well. And also from 8 um, from 8 p.m. up till 9 p.m. Again, you can catch these as unique as well. So always fish on a sunny day. The sunny days always is always the time I've always caught these as unique. Otherwise, you don't. There is a few big eye catfish here, and there's a couple of other fish that I've caught, but. Uh, that's not the one that we wanted, obviously not. So the gear that I'm using obviously is a little bit heavy. Um, so yeah, we did cover the, the time, 5am, always on a sunny day, always at a peak time. And then obviously 8pm, always at a peak time as well, again on a sunny day. Sunny and cloudy day, haven't had that much luck. Um, but you never know, if you stick it out, you might be able to get it. I'm a little bit impatient, so that's that's why. But cap and hooks seem like they work the best. So this was a cap and hook hash 10, 10 ot hook on small cut bait. You don't necessarily have to have the same rod setups as me, because obviously my setup gear is kind of heavy. And um, yeah, you could probably use lighter gear to, to actually catch these fish. You you don't need as heavy gear as what I've got. But anyway, I'm going to show you my setup just real quick there. You could always pause it if you want to use the same setup as me. But as I said, it doesn't really matter too much about your rod. Um, you could probably get away with catching this at around a probably 20 pound rod setup. So that's a very low end low end gear to catch these you can also catch them on uh spinners and lures and uh no 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 not sorry not spinners and is it spinners and lures hold on let me just double check that uh flat spoon spinners narrow spoons soft baits shads worms grubs yeah there yeah so <laughs> there is a, a few others obviously as well um so there is many ways to actually catch this fish but you, you guys know that I like fishing off the side of a bank like this, and I, I do like doing a bit of bait fishing. One thing to notice as well, it does always drift to the left. Your line always drifts to the left. The current is actually quite strong here. So where you see my marker just out in front, I've casted 60 foot, which is um, just out there in front of me. You might want to maybe cast in between those two trees as you see sticking up there. You maybe want to cast in between those two or just cast a little bit to the right of that actual marker because your line bait and stuff is always going to drag over to the left. So do bear that in mind. Of course, when it does, just replace it. I do catch a lot of standard size uh, Cornish Jack, as you uh, just saw there. And I also have had quite a few trophies, but then peak times. When you're fishing those peak times, you will definitely 100% catch the Cornish Jack. That's, yeah. We also got some other videos coming on. The uh, the blue catfish, blue big eye catfish as unique. I've got some videos on that coming soon. And then the Congo yellow fish. And yeah, I'm going to be making videos on all of the unique fish in this place. Um, I'll make separate videos of them because obviously if I put it all into the same video, 
it would be insanely long. But let me know in the comment section below if you've ever fished for these or if you couldn't catch them and now after watching this video you can catch them. Drop it in the comment section. I like to know who I'm helping and it's nice that I can share my experience of this game after nearly six years, nearly six years of me playing this game. And yet still to, after all that time, I still absolutely say this is 100% my best fishing game I've ever played. Not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way, so I don't get paid to say that. It's just purely my opinion and something that I really enjoy. Anyway, unique Cornish Jack again, so there's £30. We do catch one slightly a little bit bigger than that, but not not an insane amount bigger. But anyway, there's the rod set up again. You can pause it at any point if you want to. But you don't have to use, as I said, you don't have to use the same rod set up as me because these fish, that yeah, the biggest that I've caught is £32. I'm pretty sure if I carried on fishing for them, Maybe I could get to like 34, 35, possibly. Um, but then they do say they only go up to 33 pounds maximum weight anyway. So you're not really going to get a lot bigger than that. But they're still nice fish to catch. They do put up a little bit of a good fight. But of course, my rod setups that I'm using are the new best bottom rods on the game. So I make it look very easy. We've done different videos as well on these bottom rods, uh, buying them, testing them out with the really, really big fish. We've also shown the um, the new spinning rod. We've also shown the new new tackle, the new net, the new float rod. Uh, we've shown everything. We've done everything. <laughs> there we go. That's my biggest that I've ever caught. So that is 32 pounds uh, unique Cornish Jack. So not bad. Um, pretty quick pace of catching these as long as as I said you are fishing peak times so as you can see for this one was late in the evening this one was um, 8 8 10 that's 809 so about 806 805 something like that so I'm gonna show you where I spawned in just for those who uh, have no clue where we are so you'll see this big bridge so you want to spawn in the center where my guy is lit up orange just there that's where you want to click on to spawn in and there's my rod set up I showed you that as well and as you can see I'm at a peak time you saw the water was at its highest so that's it we spawn in turn right follow the path down and this is where we are and cast every single time as I said around about 60 foot you can go a little bit over a little bit under that's fine but the small cut bait and the the cap and hook hash eight or a hot hook whatever however you want to pronounce it everyone pronounces it different but yeah the um the eight hook, hook um that works quite well and definitely small cut bait i've used medium cut bait but again i haven't caught that biggish one but it does say that it does prefer small cut bait anyway so that's kind of why i went with the small cut bait but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video <laughs> There's plenty more to come. I was pushing up two to three videos a day. At the minute it is random, but there's still a video dropping at least every single day. Very, very busy working really extremely hard on this uh, this new map. Found an insane amount of different fish and it's good fun. I'm absolutely loving it. Let me know if you are enjoying it or you bought the DLC. Of course I bought the DLC. So, um, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. That's my dad there. Look, I'm fishing with my dad. That's my dad. I'm out. <laughs>